And let's bring an investor and Shark Tank co-star Kevin O'Leary now for more on this. Kevin, good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, what do you think are some of the most marketable skills for people trying to do what Rebecca's talking about, trying to do a career pivot? Well, you'll notice those businesses that Rebecca was detailing were all direct to consumer, and that is what's occurring in America since March 7th. I call the great digital pivot, America 2.0. All of these startups have done something very, um, let's call it even crafty. They figured out they can use the internet to acquire customers and sell them directly at practically 100% gross margin. And the key to that is to understand the technology. So step one is upgrade your internet from your home so that it can work properly when you're using the internet because a lot of people have very poor bandwidth and they've got to fix that. But number two, the talents that really matter now are storytelling, script writing, photography, videoing, video editing, animation, because that's how you build a website, tell a story, and sell a product. I used to lecture all the time to business school grads saying if you want a guaranteed job, number one is engineering, number two is engineering, number three is engineering. <laughs> but today I'm wrong because last year my number one expense was artists. All right, there you go. But I'm curious, though, everyone that you're mentioning is an entrepreneur, someone who's decided to go out on their own. What about for people who want the security of working for an existing company? I know, especially for people who are in their mid-30s or older, it can be really difficult to get companies to even consider you. Again, you have to go to the internet. Number one, LinkedIn with a three paragraph, no more than that resume. Nobody reads more than that. And number one messaging in that is to tell your prospective employer how you can help them execute their mandate. Don't talk about your dog from high school or you were great on the football team. Nobody cares. What they care about is what can you do to help them drive growth in their business. That's the most important thing you can deliver. But again, you've got to use technology. Every single platform, that is the new modern way and by the way getting a corporate job is great but there's nothing wrong with a side hustle at night that's what millions of Americans are doing now to supplement their income and that's not going to stop the whole world has changed it's pivoted digital you can do two things work corporate and side hustle and bring in another 15 to 20 thousand a year it's worth doing and you never know sometimes a side hustle turns into the full-time gig maybe people even land on Shark Tank with it uh, but Kevin how can people be sure that they will make enough money to justify a job switch, whether they're going off on their own or they're trying to, to pivot and work for a different kind of company, and how much should that factor into your decision? Well, the, the great news now is that because you've got platforms like Facebook and Rebecca detailed it, you can do geo-locked advertising. So in other words, there's a way to tell your story within the circumference of 100 miles or 60 miles or 50 miles that you actually want to go work because many people in mid-30s raising kids don't want to fly to San Francisco for a job. They're trying to figure out how to do it even though they've been displaced. And there are millions of people displaced. But we have the tools. Across my portfolio, over 50 companies, 80 cents on the dollar in our digital spending for all kinds of things like recruiting is going to Facebook right now because of geo-locked advertising. So if you live in Tallahassee, you live in Chattanooga, or you're in Austin, Texas, you want to stay there and work there, spend your digital dollars wisely advertising yourself in your geographic region. The technology exists to do that now. And learn how to tell your story. Take a photograph, show video, get your personality out there, and it's worth doing because companies in many sectors like the electronic vehicles or electric vehicles or all kinds of direct consumer businesses are hiring like crazy right now. The economy is actually pretty good even though we're in the middle of this horrific pandemic. And uh, you're talking about, uh, you've talked about the skills that you see doing well right now. What are the businesses that you see booming right now and that you think will keep doing well after the pandemic? Well, any business that's figured out how to sell direct to consumer, from a giant like Nike in their last quarter, showed that 50% of their business is now direct to consumer worldwide. They thought that would take them six years to achieve that. They did it in five months in the middle of the pandemic. Who did they hire to do that? Artists, photographers, videographers, animators, because they had to tell a story and they had to make a 59 second commercial or a 29 second commercial. These skill sets that used to be, you know, at the hand of a teenager being really great on TikTok or something else are now required by corporations. There's no more starving artists out there. They're fully employed if they want to be. All right, it's a good time for the creative. Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary. It's always great to have you, Kevin. Thank you. Take care. You too. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.